Brace yourselves, homeowners. Many of us are about to start paying a lot more for our homes. In the next two years, close to half of Canadian mortgages, that's 2.2 million loans, will be up for renewal. This is all happening because mortgages that were locked in, say three or five years ago, with low interest rates, are about to be up for renewal with much higher rates. Check out what happened to interest rates in the past two years. The fastest series of rate hikes in the country's history. The Bank of Canada's key lending rate went from pretty much zero to 5%. I wanted to find out how much that's going to hurt and what homeowners can do to prevent that pain. So how much will it cost? We broke it down to two examples. Say you owe $315,000 on your mortgage. That's the average in Canada. Five years ago, you could have locked into a fixed rate mortgage at 1.9%, paid off over 25 years. Now, time to renew, and you're looking at a new interest rate of 5.8%. Expect the monthly payment to jump from just over 1,300 bucks a month to close to two grand. That's an extra $665 each month. Now the situation is even tougher in cities like Toronto and Vancouver, where houses are more expensive and people owe more money. It's common to have a $600,000 mortgage. A fixed rate five years ago would have meant payments of $2,523 a month. Renewing at today's rate, that household should be prepared to pay close to $3,800 a month for a five-year fixed term, close to $1,300 higher. Ouch. Is the financial picture for people facing mortgage renewals as gloomy as this weather? Well, yeah, <laughs> I think nobody <laughs> wants to see their, uh, their mortgage rates move up. To Brian Yu is the chief economist with Vancouver's Central One Credit Union. He says homeowners facing renewal should plan ahead. So I think they're bracing for this already, right? They're recognizing that, yes, things are going to be tighter this year. You're looking at more than a grand a month in payments. Can Canadians afford that? For many, they will be able to at least adapt to it. It does, make, it mean, it does mean that there are a lot of hard decisions to be made around the mortgage about spending. Like, where are you going to be cutting? Some of you's suggestions. Reducing how much money you put into savings. Fewer or cheaper vacations. Going down to one vehicle putting off big purchases. Even at the grocery aisles, what type of products do people buy? Do you buy the more expensive brands or the lower Everything lower is more pricing? expensive. That's true. <laughs> the sunny news, he says, is that many Canadians saved cash during the pandemic and still have a buffer. Plus, when you renew your mortgage, there are ways to reduce that payment. If you look at what's coming, what options do homeowners have? To understand that, I reached out to Tanya Barasa Ochoa, an economist with the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation. We've been seeing that mortgage borrowers are uh, trying a bunch of different things to really try to make ends meet. Borrowers are choosing longer amortization periods. The amortization is the length of time you intend to pay off the full amount of your mortgage. By adding more time, your payments go down, but you pay more in the long run. What happens is that you're gonna be paying your principal on your property on a longer period of time, but you're gonna be making those smaller payments. Remember that Vancouver-sized $600,000 mortgage? We asked Barasa Ochoa what would happen if you extended the amortization period by five years. Your monthly payment will still increase, but it will increase uh, by $900 approximately, rather than close to $1,300. What it means at the end of the day, it's gonna be costing you less today, but you're gonna be paying your mortgage over a period of 30 years, rather than paying it over a period of 25 years. That's still a significant increase, right? You're still paying $900 a month more on that. What else can people do to try and offset that big hit? Uh, we believe that Canadians will be able to uh, be creative and find the ways that they can to make their payments on time. People are still making payments, she says. Even with higher interest rates, delinquencies are at historic lows. 
Canadians will prioritize mortgage payments over other payments. But we are seeing when we're digging into some of the numbers, we are seeing that more Canadians are actually struggling to make ends meet. So it's definitely telling us that there is this financial pressure that is being felt. So what about selling your house? Economists say hold off if you can. Rents are high and so are new houses. If you can hold on, the pressure may start to ease at least a little. There are signs the Bank of Canada will keep rates where they are and may even start cutting them later in the year. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.